Hello folks and welcome back to True Stories with me, Sherry Weens. It's TGIS. Thank God it's Sherry. I hope you guys are having a safe and happy week. And today's story is going to be an update on Kelsey Barrett's story. Now, as we know, Patrick Frazzi, of course, has been to court and preliminary hearings have started. And there's been a lot of evidence that has come forward as far as the manner in which Kelsey Barrett's life was taken by Patrick Frazzi and how he went about doing that. It sort of started with um, allegations that he had asked his lover, um, you know, Mrs. Kenny, uh, to help her, him. You know, he wanted her to poison Kelsey with a cup of coffee at one point. He had given her a metal pipe to, you know, strike her over the head, giving her a second chance at taking Kelsey's life. And then he finally requested that she use a bat and that after that third attempt of her backing out, he took matters into his own hands. So doesn't he ask her to smell some different scents of candles? And of course she trusted him. As their one-year-old daughter was allegedly in the other room, he blindfolds Kelsey to smell these candle flavors and guess them and then attacks her with a bat, you know, so bludgeonly takes her life, you know, heinously leaving a blood spatter everywhere and then calls up his lover and says, you need, you need to get over here right now. You need, you have a big mess to clean up. Um, absolutely dreadful. Now, thank God that the child is still in the custody of Kelsey's parents, you know, and I believe that's probably the best place for her. Um, you know, I think that this case is very, very horrible and now, authorities have started their search for Kelsey Barrett in a landfill. Um, it began on Tuesday, and it could take weeks to dig through. You know, the site is about 90 miles um, south of Denver, and, you know, it's it's not a small landfill site, so there could be quite a lot of work that's going to come out of trying to piece together the remains for, you know, the Barrett family to be able to put their daughter to rest. And like, what a horrible tragedy to have to go through at all. The only positive thing that I think they could find out of this is their granddaughter and to, you know, just elevate her and help her to have the best life possible that, that Kelsey would have wanted that, you know. Now authorities are searching the Midway landfill in Fountain, Colorado for the remains of Kelsey Barrett and the landfill itself is a quarter acre of landfill and, you know, absolutely huge. Um, di disgusting that he thinks that he could have gotten away with something like this and, you know, planning it and, and taking Kelsey's life so coldly. For Patrick to burn her body, you know, is brutal. I don't understand where some people get the mentality to think that this is okay and, you know, to take somebody's life so coldly. Um, you know, it's known that that he had burned her body in a water trough after, you know, deciding to dispose of her in the landfill. Um, of course, the court can continues to go through and, and we will, you know, send you updates as as this proceeds. In my opinion, I feel that, um, you know, little Kaylee should stay with Kelsey Barrett's family, but I'd love to know what you guys think. Do you think that the Frazzi family is is owed or deserved to have their grandchild? Or do you think that this is amicably, um, has, has, has the ability, I guess you could say, to work things out in order to have some visitation on both sides. Um, I wonder what you guys think about that. Do you think that that's something feasibly possible or do you think that the Frazzi family should have to withdraw from having contact with the child? I'd love to know your thoughts. Please fill it into the comments section. If you enjoyed the video update with me, you can certainly throw up a like sign. I appreciate the support and um, definitely stay safe out there, folks. We'll see you again soon for another true story with me, Sherry Weens. Bye for now.